I have been racing with the clock, trying to finish all of the remaining orders that I have for these matching sets. All before I leave on May 5th, back to Miami. And I'm a, I'm a bit stressed, but I know that I'll get it done. On top of custom orders that I have to finish before I leave as well, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do them all before I leave. I'm going to have to do some when I get there, but I really just put way too much on my plate. I was complaining a few videos ago that I wasn't getting enough orders for my matching sets, but now I have so many custom orders that I can't even handle it. The universe has a really funny way of um, turning things around on you. All of this has been making me feel a lot more anxious and stressed than usual recently. So unfortunately, I have made some mistakes that bit me in the butt. And now I have more work on my hands. But I just keep telling myself that this is all for a reason. <laughs> So I've managed to get quite a couple sets done, mostly like the linen pieces. I still have about a couple orders to make because I did get some more orders, but mostly I have to fix some. <laughs> I had two orders from the Ocean Vest that were too small. They were mediums, but I made them basically smalls. Like I definitely didn't grade the pattern like enough. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. So I had them send back their vests and so I'm making a new one for someone, like a larger one uh, from the leftover ocean fabric because I literally had just enough to make a vest. But then the other one, I'm going to just add fabric to the sides to just extend like the bust and waist um, just to make it bigger because that's all I can do and honestly it still looks good, it'll just have two blue panels right here so it you can't notice but they're very sweet and understanding about it they always are one of them was leonelli's one of like my consistent customers um and then the other girl she actually placed another set um order with along with like remaking the blue vest so at least she was i know if she was happy with it, it just you know didn't fit her um but I have to make her another set in pistachio. I have to also remake a whole entire set in orange because it ended up being just entirely too small on the girl because her friend bought it for her um, and she bought her a medium. But then when she tried it on, she was like, oh no, it's too small. So she's like, it's not your fault. It was my fault. Like I just, she feels like she's more of like a large, extra large than a medium. Um, and I just like guessed a medium. I don't know. But also, and my medium size vest was also ended up being too small in general. So that was also my fault in my part. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> so do I have more work on my hands because I messed up the first time? Yes. So this is a message to you all. Just triple check. You know, just triple check because you saved time doing that than having people return things and having to fix them. Everyone else is fine though. This was something that always held me back from starting a brand and really expanding it was the fear of getting the sizing wrong and having to fix orders and then that ruining my brand or having like a bad reputation but then as i started doing it i realized that i really don't get that many um orders that i have to fix it rarely happens and when it does the customers are always really really sweet about it but it's inevitable you're always going to make mistakes and you're going to make clothing that don't fit them right on the first try but that's why i created this made to order process and i do repairs and alterations because not everyone's body is the same sometimes you just need a little bit of tailoring and that's totally normal so slowly but surely i've been overcoming that fear but sometimes i still get really insecure and anxious whenever i do mess up and i have to alter pieces because i feel like it's going to taint my brand and the customer is going to 
is not going to want to buy from me again but typically they always do and they're always really really sweet about it and when you think about it this happens to every single brand they also have mistakes they also have clothes that don't fit people correctly but at least with my brand i can take it back and i can fix it for you which in my opinion is a whole lot better hey friends so i wanted to show you guys a little purchase that i recently got i literally just received this in the mail like two days ago or something but i got some books well two from fashionary and i have always seen like their fashion design manual book uh always trending like it was trending a lot like a couple years ago where like everyone was getting it but i never got it because honestly i just i just didn't get it i didn't really care that much to get it um i have so many fashion design books and so i was like i feel like i don't really need another one like i i know i have enough but what i don't have is a fashion business book so i had seen they had the fashion business manual and i'm a very visual learner I got this book because it's literally visual friendly like the entire book it just has a bunch of pictures <laughs> and obviously words and all but like it's just like very oh the same page very visual friendly and i was like i need this because i love that it's like visual or whatever but also like this book covers everything like it's literally the fashion business manual like it covers um you know branding um retailing wholesaling marketing starting a brand product development and it's very honest and i love how it starts off with it's hard like this is the first page like being an entrepreneur is hard and then, well, I guess the introduction is the very first page. It says, fashion is business, period. <laughs> the harsh reality is that to survive in the fashion industry, whether it be starting a brand or managing a store, you need to have an understanding of business, period. So true. <laughs> and like the more I do this, the more I realize I don't know crap. And um, I, I've always known that though. And that's why I always felt like I never took my brand to a further step because or like the next step or whatever because i didn't know enough about business and i didn't want to get myself into something that i didn't i didn't understand so that's like my goal for the next year to learn a lot more about business so i'm not lost like i feel like i have the creative i mean i'm always developing my creative mind and everything and that's always going to be changing and like everything but like i don't know enough about business i've been focusing a lot on like construction and like the actual design process because i felt like my construction was lacking for so long um which it has gotten so much better and that's because i've been doing this for 10 years now and i had hope that i gotten better and <laughs> now i'm just like okay business and it really just shows you so much and yeah i love this book i already started like uh going through it but i literally just got it so um haven't put my entire time into it but they also gave me like this little cute little bag and then i also got this sketchbook so this is the woman's wear uh sketchbook and this is pretty cool um you don't have to get this but i wanted to get it because i'm lazy a little bit i like it because it literally shows you like all these button measurements it shows like standard body measurements hat sizes it also shows you like different types of dress designs shirts um pants skirts whatever different collars necklines like hats like just like basically like a bunch of inspiration and also like giving you the definite like uh the definition that's the definition but like telling you what that item is like this is a pillbox hat so like maybe you design it but you don't know what it's called um so you have like the names there it also shows you stitches and like types of dyes care labels like it has it all but then the best part which is why i wanted the book the sketchbook because i like sketching but um i don't love it like i feel like 
every designer is different and I'm starting to learn that more and more like I always felt like I wasn't a good enough designer because I didn't sketch everything out and I wasn't an amazing fashion illustrator but now as I'm getting older I'm realizing that the kind of different things like there's fashion illustrators who are kind of like the creative directors and like designers but then there's like you know des designers and they sketch but they're not like always just sketching or like making beautiful illustrations you know like so there's just like there's no one way to be a designer there's it literally you can do it however you want and i've always been someone that just does it you know i'm a like a visual learner everything like when i have a design in my head i like i have it in my head and i never really put it down um because i feel like i'm not that great of a like sketcher artist um i've gotten I've honestly improved a whole lot because I had taken an illustration class in my college and I'm honestly not that terrible really I'm just like really uh picky <laughs> and um I like it because it has I don't think you're not gonna be able to see it I'll show you like a close-up but it has croquis already dotted out on the pages like every single front and back page has a croquis already on the page so you can just sketch right on it like you don't have to draw out your croquis which is why <laughs> which is one of the reasons why i never really like sketching because i like i feel like i draw crappy bodies <laughs> like i hated like I, you will never see any of my sketches eyes you will never catch me drawing some eyes i always put a line and i honestly like it more um because the moment you start thinking about like the eyeballs and doing all that no 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 no, i can't do that i can draw the clothes and i can draw nose and lips hair really easily i always do a short bob like that because i don't care and then like a, or a hat or something to cover like it doesn't matter like it really you don't have to have different hair every single time like you can like it, it could matter if you're doing like very beautiful fashion illustrations but if you're just sketching for yourself a collection it doesn't matter one thing though is that the uh i don't know if it's because of the eraser i was using but the eraser marks are like not cute because this paper's kind of waxy like slightly waxy because it's leak proof and um yeah like if you put marker on it won't bleed through and so the eraser marks are like ugly but i think it's just the it might have been the eraser i was using i'll find out but yeah i wanted to show you guys in case anyone was looking for something like that they're like the fashion manual book is like 40 dollars and this is like 20 dollars so they're an investment and you don't have to get it i'm not, I'm not telling you you have to have this but i wanted to get it so whatever i got it but those are two little things that i got that i wanted to show you guys and so today i'm going to the fabric store because i need to pick up some fabric for custom order and i also am meeting up with someone to take their measurements because i got asked to do another prom dress here which i haven't gotten asked to make anything here <laughs> and of course when i'm leaving I get asked to make a prom dress and I also just got asked to make an engagement dress which for May 22nd so that's really soon so I also have to meet up with her to get her measurements but today I'm going to get this girl's measurements for her prom yeah that's the goal for today and you guys are gonna come along with me it'll be fun it'll be so much fun okay bye like it knew that I was leaving and, and they were like oh peace out to um it's my time to go but now I you know opened all the windows so there's more light but it gets it's so much louder 
outside when I have all the windows open. So we're gonna have to manage. And thank God I have this my light box. It's the only thing that's like really putting light in here. But I'm almost done with everything that I have to do for the set and my custom orders. I have finished most everything I have left I have to just make a natural linen vest and I have to sew this pistachio set and that's it and then I have to just package everything up besides of course for the custom orders I'm almost done with this wedding dress I'm not sure if you guys are gonna see the wedding dress before or after this video and then I have to make the dance costume still but no worry I have a week left it is Tuesday and I leave on Thursday next Thursday but I have been waiting for this linen fabric to come in from my supplier I literally just need like a half a yard um to finish this vest but I told him to send me a yard and I forgot to take it home yesterday so I could wash it so that I could cut it out and sew it today because I'm trying to ship both of these out by tomorrow I'll finish them today and ship them out tomorrow but I forgot to bring this home so I brought a bowl and some soap and a water jug because there's no water here at the studio we bring water jugs to like flush a toilet and um, give my dog some water but there's no water here so I'm gonna go hand wash this outside real quick and then like hang it up to dry while I start sewing this pistachio set and hopefully um, later it will be dry which it should be because every time you hang things to dry outside they dry much quicker than um you would expect so let's go oh We're just ready to package them up. Oh yeah, yay. So much. I still need to finish packing. I need to make these dance costumes. I'm gonna ship these out tomorrow though. I still got things to do, but really, I'll get it done. I, I know, I know I'll get it done. But huh. I really want to do a QA. So if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me fashion related sewing uh sustainability my life uh whatever questions write them down below and i will probably answer them while i'm packing next week so yeah ask me whatever you like